We're here at Asana's offices. Tell us what is Asana for people who don't know and what are you guys doing here? So Asana is a system that helps people coordinate their collective action. So I think the problem that is facing every business and the problem that is most holding back people from accomplishing their goals is that even when you have a great team together and, and a great mission that you're, that you're marching toward, the actual mechanics of having everyone be on the same page, know what they're supposed to be doing, have all the information that they need in order to accomplish that goal is still really hard. I mean, we hear people all the time who say they spend you know, 60 to 90% of their time not doing work, but doing work about work, whether it's sitting in status meetings or sending emails or managing this just onslaught of information to, to try to just keep figure out what's going on and what they should be working on. And so Asana gives you this, this shared task list for your whole team. In order to accomplish our goal, here's all the things we need to do, here's who's assigned to which things, and, and track that all the way to completion with confidence. Can you talk about how it's different from some of the other collaboration and social tools that have come out recently? The biggest thing that people are using today for this is email. E email and meetings right. are the primary technologies. Right. There's been a lot of talk recently about the uh, um, social networking tools for the enterprise. Mm -hmm. But our experience is that while it's cool they've taken a bunch of ideas from social that, that are useful and brought them over, really a lot of times they've just taken conversation that was going around the water cooler and, and taking that chatter and moving it over into some electronic form. Asana is more of a social collaboration, social productivity. It puts work at the center of the graph so that it's about driving to the actual execution of your goals together. You're mentioning getting your workflow out of email and I think for a lot of people that would be an ideal situation, you know, if you can get even part of that done. How, how does that happen? E email is the system that's been around for decades and it was originally meant as a substitute for the post office or a substitute for memos. And at this point we're using it for all sorts of things for which it wasn't intended uh, and mostly around getting our work done and coordinating with people to execute against our goals. And Asana has just taken that and developed a whole new system that this resembles email in some ways, but is a much superior alternative to, act, to actually getting that work done. We really think that Asana is the first credible post-email application. Can you talk about some of the customers you have and, and how are people using Asana? We're seeing it's not just getting adopted by one industry or by one department within a company, but that um, in the spirit of replacing email, Asana is really becoming this horizontal tool where you'll have people across all sorts of different departments, all using it not only to coordinate within their departments, but across their departments. People will use it for everything from general task management, general project management, to a lot of software companies use it as their bug database. A lot of recruiting departments use it as their applicant tracking system. A lot of sales team will use it as a lightweight CRM system. So we see this from, you know, from people in telecom, people, people in, in legal, people in every industry you can imagine. In technology, it's becoming increasingly sort of well understood that this is the best technologies use this to accomplish their goals. Companies like Uber and Foursquare and Pinterest like, re really rely on Asana as, as, as the backbone for a ton of their operations. Um, but we also see it in you know, the, the San Francisco Aquarium, just all, all sorts of different people that you wouldn't expect in education, Stanford, Harvard, um, all using it in these very different ways, but the same common tool to accomplish their goals.